do you want some tool for your android application which can help in code shrinking optimizing and obfuscating your code and this is done with the help of progard so hi everyone this is prith grover welcome to coding with punit today we will discuss about one powerful tool that is progard which can help you to do these things that is optimizing your byte code shrinking your code that means removing the unused code and third is obfuscating code that means obfuscating your class fields and method names then you can understand the benefit of progard that means reduce the epic size because it is shrinking your code optimize that means improve your app runtime performance and third is obfuscating your code that means it adds security layer do you know what is the meaning of obfuscating obfuscating means it change your variable names to something random for example your variable name is address then it can change it to xyz that means it is hard to detect for a hacker to do the reverse engineering thing. now what is reverse engineering i have created one more video for that you can watch out in our youtube channel okay now coming here reduce your apk size uh, optimize or improve your app runtime performance and add a security layer one layer of security now very important thing is how can we use or add progard in our android application this is very simple two or three quick things to do one is add the progard in your build.gradle file see one very important thing here is progard is used for release builds not for debug builds so that is why you have to add in release build type block what you have to add here one is minify enabled is equal to true that means it enable the progard second thing is add two files one is default android progard file that is progard android optimized file and second thing is progard rules see i tell you what is happening in this uh, particular line progard android optimized this is the default rules of progard and second is progard rules that means if we want to add the custom rules in our progard now why do we need the custom rules because sometimes it remove unused code but we need that in that case we have to use hyphen keep so that i can tell progard that i want this particular class we can use any kind of rules there for example you know i want to keep this uh, all the classes and files of this particular class then i can use hyphen keep and then the package name or for example i want to keep a class which extend this particular class in that case i can use hyphen keep so this is how we can add the custom rules in our progard file and last but not least very important thing is always test your application in multiple devices whenever you have the progard don't rely on one device or one os version of android and always test your application in the release build not in the debug build because progard is enabled in your release build i hope you like this video do subscribe and share with your colleagues so that they can also learn about the progard see you in the next video take care bye bye